Today we're searching for the card that shall not be named. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. In today's video, I have eight Strike of Neo special editions. Inside of here, there are two Strike of Neos packs, one first edition Enemy of Justice packs, and the card that shall not be named is potentially in this pack. And what, what, you, what am I talking about? If you're not on Twitter, you know, you haven't seen all the stuff about Aaron Neos. Aaron Neos was printed in 2007, I believe, in Strike of Neos as an ultra rare and an ultimate rare, and has not been printed since, literally ever. And there's a lot of speculation that there may be a copyright issue potentially with this card so that they can't print it anymore. Because in the last set, Power of the Elements, I think it was called Instant Contact or something like that. It was an Elemental Hero card. Neos is in the front. There's all the Elemental Heroes in the back. Aaron Neos used to be on the art and now it's not. So we really don't know exactly what's happening, but it seems like they may never print Aaron Neos again, which kind of has impacted the price. You know, people are, you know, trying not to sell theirs or they're selling it for much higher price. They're like, well, this is the only printing ever. It's going to be ulti or ultra from Strike of Neos and that's it. So we're going to try and pull it today. But before that, we have a giveaway. We have a few Korean LOB Ultras. So we have a Monster Reborn, Gaia, and then a couple of pieces of Exodia. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed to our notifications and let me know what you think about the Strike of Neo slash Aaron Neo situation. You think it will be the only printings ever or will there be another one? You know, we think they'll figure it out or is it not worth it for them? All right, I'm going to do you guys a favor. I'm going to open up all of these before we get into it because these are really annoying to open, you know, so we're going to get all the packs out and then we're going to start opening. All right, we have gotten everything out. We have our shrinks and our cyber dragons. These actually don't look too bad. Usually they're pretty bent up. But these seem like they might be in decent condition. So we've got our cyber ends. Maybe if these were nice, I would send them bulk submission. I'll have to check them all out. Uh, they seem to not be like at least bent so maybe they're near mint at least which is nice okay maybe not you guys can check that out okay maybe not there they're not as good as i thought but we got our 16 packs of strike of neos and our eight packs of enemy of justice out this is going to be a fun opening because strike of neos you just don't get to see it very often i've not opened a lot of it myself so i'm pretty excited let's start off with an enemy of justice because it's not really the thing we're here for but it is a first edition pack which is pretty cool so let's see if we can pull an ultimate rare out of here let's go we have destiny hero doom lord we've got the misfortune the Bountiful Artemis, Surge Light Man, Elemental Recharge. We've opened many, many packs of Elemental, uh, uh, what is it called? Element Enemy of Justice, so I can't speak. Hey, Jeter, I'm thinking of Elemental Hero Neos. There we go. Or the uh, Air Neos, I should say. Dimensional Fissure and Banisher of the Radiance. This would be a pretty cool ultimate if we could pull this. I would be pretty down for that. Let's go into a Strike of Neos, not one of those. Our first Strike of Neos pack. There's a lot of cool six samurai stuff. I don't know what the pack trick is. We're going to do three. We have a Silent Abyss. No guaranteed foils in any of these packs. We're talking old school GX stuff. I know a lot of you guys like GX. You want to see more. This is it. This is your GX. Raging Earth and uh, Strike of Neos is one of the coolest GX sets in my opinion. Return of the Six Samurai. We have Umbral Soul. Let me know in the comments what you think about GX and your favorite sets from it. Yuriza. We've got the change of here. Hero Reflector Ray, Six Samurai Zanji, Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. There we go. There's a super rare and then the Swift Samurai Storm. So it looks like it is four from the back. Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird. That is a pretty nice card. Look how subtle that foil is. I kind of like that on super rares though. Pretty cool. Super rare, our first foil pull. All right, next up, we're just going to alternate until we, we have just Strike of Neos packs left and just end on that. I think that'll be pretty fun. All right, this is pretty awesome. I got these from uh, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh on Instagram. Uh, what, a friend of mine, you know, just not just an Instagram page, but we've he, uh, he sold me a bunch of these because he had a bunch that he got from a guy, Mariner. So pretty cool with Celestial Transformation. We got the Whirlwind Weasel. You guys can go follow his YouTube channel as well. He has some pretty awesome videos, especially recently. He's posted some really good stuff. Uh, Senku Elemental Recharge. The Royal Knight, really nice. The Cyber Kieran. We got the Liar, the Liberator. And a Herald of the Purple Light. All right, Purple Light. That could be an ultimate as well, I guess. That's interesting. Strike of Neos. Unlimited pack, but Air Neos, guys, we're talking big money if you pull it even in Ultra rare like it's insanely hard to uh to get these days because you know people think all right there's never going to get reprinted and it's also pretty hard to pull just an ultimate rare or an ultra rare out of here and the ultra rares there's a bunch of different ones in this set emblem of the awakening let's go we got the six samurai come on very nice we got the grin tactician of dark world dark world stuff some of it is in here we got the destruction cyclone the flashbang very nice a lycanthrope We've got an advanced ritual art and we have transmigration prophecy. We have a regular rare. OK, nothing too crazy there, but we've got a lot of packs to go. I still have faith. Yeah, I think we can pull the strike of Neos. Uh, strike of Neos. I keep calling it strike of Neos. Air Neos. We're going to pull it eventually. I don't know if it's going to be today, but one day I want to pull it. Here we go. Our righteous justice. Raging area. Let's go with the shattered axe. Very nice. The cyber gymnast. I used to have this in my deck because it's actually not that bad. Discard a card, destroy one face of attack position monster. It's not terrible. 1800 defense. Eight cheated heart. D shield. We got the dimensional fissure. That's an insane card from this set. 
Destiny Hero, Captain Tenacious. And we have a... Oh, no, the clock, dong. I was thinking this is like a clock. Yeah, like having like a uh, like a bell in it, you know, like a bell tower. I, I don't know if it necessarily would, but usually, you know, when it turns to a certain hour, it would, it would dong. I don't know if it did in the show or not. I really can't remember anything about Clock Tower Prison except that it cursed us in deploying three ultimate rares in the uh, elemental or enemy of justice openings. I really have said the wrong thing every single time today. But if you guys have never seen those enemy of justice, by the way, look at this. This looks yeah, they definitely wrapped this wrong. I mean, the S is on the back. So uh, if you haven't seen those old enemy of justice videos, I think they're in a playlist. Go watch them. It was hilariously bad. I did get three PSA 10s though on Clock Tower Prison Ultimate Rares. I have the three of them now and I keep them for uh, for memory's sake to remember uh, how horrible that was. That was a long time ago at this point. Like, I think we did that before I did my first edition LLB opening the first time. So it's been that long. Nasashi, we've got the emblem of the awakening. Six Samurai, come on. Grin Tactician of Dark World. We get the Firestorm Prominence. Legendary Ebon Steed. Sheehan's Foot Soldier. Okay, come on. Give us that ear, Neos. Wait, what is happening here? Look at this. Look at this printing. It's going all the way down. That's really strange. All right, Marionette Might. And a Neos Force. Okay, have we pulled a foil out of... We pulled Neospatian Air Hummingbird. That's it so far. We got to hope for a little better than that, guys. We need a little bit better than Air Hummingbird. I believe that we can do it, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying the video because at 150K, we're opening every single set ever made. It's going to be absolutely nuts. So I'm really excited about that. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see that. Whirlwind Weasel. We have the Celestial Transformation. Shattered Axe. Very nice. The E Emergency Goal. Macro Cosmos. Very cool. Blazing Hita. Icarus Attack, a very good card. Very, very good card for Wing Beast. We have a H Heated Heart added again, and we have a Herald of the Green Light. He's green, and he's full of lights. It's just a regular old rare, unfortunately. Back to Strike of Neos, another really weirdly wrapped pack. I don't know if I should be keeping these sealed, but you guys know how it goes with uh, me and keeping stuff sealed. It doesn't really happen that often, so we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with it this time. We have six Samurai come on, very nice. Grin Tactician of Dark World. Swift Samurai Storm, very nice. Silent Abyss. We've got the Electric Virus, if you can see it up there, with almost Rux and Special. Destruction Cyclone, very nice. Flashbang, very cool. We have a Lycanthrope. Just a, a, a ritual that's a common always throws me off. I'm like, oh, and then it's nothing. Okay. We have a Neos Force again. Stop giving us the same card. No, we want Air Neos, not Neos Force. There's still a lot of time to pull some good. I'm not worried. We have 24 total packs. That's a pretty decent amount. All right. Macro Cosmos, a very strong card. Let's see if we can pull something. We have a Shattered Axe, Cyber Gymnast. Elemental Hero, Necroid Shaman. Also, Fusion's being a common, a little bit weird too. Actually, it's really not that weird because of the LOB. You know, there's a lot of them. Emergency Call. I guess a lot of those were rares, at least. Macrocosmos. We have the O Oversoul. The Guard Dog. Where's the E Emergency Call? That's pretty good. D Shield. And is this the next one? Is it an ulti? Oh, it's a super rare, super electromagnetic Voltec Dragon. That is a super rare with a mouthful of a name. We will take that every single time. Very, very cool. Super rare. All right. So another super. We're looking to beat a super though. What we have three supers so far. We need like an ultra secret ulti. We could pull any of those out of these packs, except for a secret out of uh, Enemy of Justice. Those are not in there, but they are in Strike of Neos. And there's some pretty good ones as well. So let's see if we can pull them. Swift Samurai Storm Grandmaster would be really cool. We got a Rux and Special with the Silent Abyss, Raging Earth. Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, Destruction Cyclone, Flashbang, Lycanthrope, we've got the Electric Virus, and we have a Spiral Serpent. A norm when I saw like the normal color, I was like, what is that color? It was like faded or something. I forgot what a normal monster was. Yeah, I know it's bad, guys. We're losing it. Come on, Enemy of Justice. Let's do this. It seems like you guys have been liking these longer videos too, so uh, I'm glad to hear that. So we're going to you know, do what we can and just try and keep them around like 20 minutes or whatever if we can get up there. But sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. We have a Shattered Axe. We have the E Emergency Call. Good common. Very nice. Cyber Gymnast. We got the Hero Mariner. Dimensional Fissure, Cyber Kieran, very cool. We've got the Swift Birdman Joe, a classic Duel Links card from the early days. We've got a D-Shield, and we have a Herald of the Pure Light. Come on, man. Straight out of blisters. You know these are legit, and we still can't pull anything. Wait. Oh, that was a EOJ. Okay, yeah. So we're back to striking the S. Well, we almost just flipped one over. Very nice. Another uh, weirdly wrapped pack. Let's go. Can we pull something good? A bunch of supers so far. You just got to believe in the heart of the packs, guys. We got to pull something good. This is just how it goes sometimes. Uh, and by how it goes, I mean, we're going to pull something good, right? Right. Sage of Stillness. The Silent Abyss. Sheehan's Castle of Mist. Very nice. The Radiant Spirit. 
Six Samurai Zanji, all right. The Cocky Gorilla of Dark World. That just sounds like a weird name. Ritual Ceiling, we have a Six Samurai Yaichi, and we have the cloak and dagger just a regular rare okay all right i see how it is i see how it is air neo so you just want to hang out in there you don't want to be pulled i get it no i get it seriously i get it like you know it's fine no big deal you don't have to you know want to want to appear on the video for these epic viewers i mean they, they want to see you i mean i want to see you as well cyber gymnast we got the sad shattered axe we got the whirlwind weasel or righteous justice i think that means we have all the hero cards cyber kieran the swift birdman joe's back at it again d shield a guard doge and we have a force bag this is also another one i had in my original uh deck back in the day i actually have a video about my original deck and i show all the cards so this was one of them actually a pretty good card back then um, not the best but still pretty good okay we are getting down towards the end so i would say what we have like eight packs left after this eight packs of striking eos and one uh, enemy of justice after this one something like that if we did the math correctly here we go we got four can we pull something alien psychic come on ultimate rare let's go iru a cell scatter burst we got the puppet plant we actually have a better chance of pulling an ultimate rare out of here than an ultra which is pretty weird with those early gx sets flashbang we have a lycanthrope the electric virus i kind of like this art it's really simple i don't know the destruction cyclone and it is another frostosaurus like how oc this thing is this would be kind of a cool ulti i mean it's not one you're really looking for but it does look really nice though the final pack of enemy of justice so far all super rares we have not pulled anything above that oh, oh yeah i said that about the enemy of justice pack while we were opening strike of neos I, the ultra rare thing i totally forgot that we were opening that one but uh yeah yeah just keep that in mind for this pack all right just justice search light man we have the bountiful artemis another good card misfortune the guard doge power capsule swift birdman joe and i think it's the next one a cheater heart and we have a banish of the radiance to end it off we got two of these rares not too bad okay what we really want though is in strike of neos we saved it for the last few packs right that's totally how this works saved it for the last few packs 100 we have an ultimate rare in this next one i can feel it here we go anti-fusion device okay destroy one face up fusion monster on the field Ooh, insane insanely good card juice lane the awakened sage of stillness Shan's Castle of Mist. Oh, we got a Ruxin special with the Zanji. We got the Cocky Gruel of Dark World, the Ritual Ceiling, the Yaichi, and a Fusion Devour. No, not the Devour. Devouring our chances of Air Neos. Oh, I must have miscounted or something. Or maybe I, oh, I started with Enemy of Justice. That makes sense. So now we have eight left. Okay. okay so eight packs. So we've got half of our half of our Strike of Neos left. I believe that we can pull something good. We got a Silent Abyss. It could be in here. Raging Earth, Return of the Six Samurai, Alien Psychic. Will we get the card that shall not be named? Do not speak his name. Flashbang. We have the Lycanthrope. Advanced Ritual Art. We have Umbral Soul and Spiral Serpent. Stop with the or the uh, normal monster rares. What's up with that? Let's go. One, two, three, four. You got to pull it. Let's go. Six Samurai Iru. Could this be it? A Cell Scatter Burst. Puppet Plant. Glow Moss. Six Samurai Yaichi with a big old blotch on there. Nice. We got the Firestorm Prominence. Okay. Legendary Ebon Steed. Sheehan's Foot Soldier. And will this be it? DD Crow! Oh, if we pull this in ulti, I'm going to lose it. That would be insane. Like, even unlimited, that would be really, really nice. Okay. I'm looking forward to if we do that. That'd be nice. Six packs to go. Can we get something? All right. So far, it's been a little rough. It's been forbidden. You know, this is opening. Definitely a forbidden opening here. You know what I'm saying? It's not going so hot. We got the Grin Tactician of Dark World, Puppet Plants, Swift Samurai Storm, Silent Abyss, Synthesis Spell, Electric Virus, Destruction Cyclone. We got the Flashbang. Come on, give us something good. It's a trap. Transmigration Prophecy. Okay, so officially, have we pulled one foil out of these? The other two were Enemy of Justice. So this is literally the only foil we've pulled. We are now one for 11. Very nice. I mean, it's not as bad as that 2003-10 opening yet, but it's not looking so hot. Because I think the... Pull rates are usually a little bit higher on these, I thought, but maybe that's in 5Ds that started. Sheehan's Castle of Mist, very nice. We get the Radiant Spirits, which, okay, on, higher on, like, uh, this set versus another. These blisters have no ratio, so it could, this is why this is happening. Masashi, got the Emblem of the Awakening, but in any second, he could turn. Sheehan's Foot Soldier, the Marionette Might. Synthesis Spell. Electric Virus, and... 
got enough fusion devour. It's the same rares. We pulled the same rares over and over. Come on. At least give us DD Crow. Come on. Like DD Crow, not even an ulti would be nice. I mean, we got one of them, so I'd take multiples of those, but an ulti would be insane if we could do that. Okay. Come on. Emblem of the Awakening. Come on. Grin. Get it? Come on. We got to pull something. Ah. <laughs> okay. Grin. Swift Samurai Storm. The Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Flashbang. Lycanthrope, come on! Ancient rules! Is this have an ulti? I forgot this has an ulti. That would be actually kind of cool for blue eyes decks. But three packs left. This is a rough opening, guys. When you open the forbidden scriptures of ancient Neos stuff, then you don't pull them. That's what happens. It said, do not speak his name. We spoke his name accidentally. This is what happens. You get punished. Hopefully, we can redeem ourselves. Come on. Raging Earth. We have Return of the Six Samurai. Alien Psychic. The Six Samurai Iru. The Six Samurai Uriza, Change of Hero, Reflector Ray, The Six Samurai Zanji, Kaki Gruel of Dark World, and come on, the Cloak Attack. We have like three of each rare right now. It's insane. I don't know how this is happening. There should be more rares than that. Two packs to go. Oh my gosh. Did we save it for the end? If we pull it last pack, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. One, two, three, four. Let's go. We have, come on, let's pull it. Grin, Swift Samurai Storm. Silent Abyss. Oh, Ruxin and Special. Don't worry. Shin's Foot Soldier. Marionette Might. Synthesis Spell. Electric Virus. And... Twister. <laughs> Twister. It's just a rare. It comes down to this. We have now opened 24 total packs. We have three super rares. We have one from Strike of Neos, which there were 16 packs. All right. Okay. This is not going so well, guys. Not going so well. Will this turn it around? Come on. Okay. This pack is not opening well, which means that it has been sealed away. The Strike of Neos, or uh, the Air Neos. I literally have called it Strike of Neos like five times. Alien Psychic, nice. Iru. A Cell Scatterburst. Puppet Plant. Destruction Cyclone. We just need DD Crow or Air Neos to save us. Flashbang, let's go. Lycanthrope. Ancient Ritual Art. Okay, the final card of the opening. Let's go. This is like a cruel joke. Another super rare Neospatian Air Hummingbird. The only two we get are the one that kind of looks like Air Neos, but not really. Okay, well, we're going to have to continue our search for the forbidden card another day because, whew. That was rough. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trusted Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tone Fo Show, Ananda Sai Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.